This is Professor Michael Chapman. I'm one of the most experienced IVF doctors in Australia. I believe that an important part that I can contribute is to educate patients in relation to fertility, infertility, and all that that involves. These series of podcasts help to educate you. I hope they are helpful to you. If you wish to know more, however, I'm more than happy to have you contact me via email, which is profmchapman at gmail.com, or make an appointment to see me on 91384222 How long does PGD testing pregenetic diagnosis diagnostic diagnosis take in in Australia uh, what there's the standard is that we we get to day 5 of the embryo we biopsy take the 10 of the 30 uh, 300 cells from the embryo and send them freeze them and then they get sent to a laboratory elsewhere and then over the next 10 days we get a result so usually it's around about 10 days that embryo will we will know to the next after the next period and before the next ovulation the results so we can be putting an embryo back within the month after the uh, egg collection that you had and how does pgd testing help in testing down syndrome well i think i talked about that earlier we all we all have 23 pairs of chromosomes uh, in Down syndrome, there is an extra chromosome. So there are, instead of 46 chromosomes, there's 47. And the extra chromosome is chromosome 21. And that, what's called trisomy, causes Down syndrome. Could you talk about the causes of the short luteal stage? <laughs> well, there's a debate as to whether, the short, whether there is such a thing as a short luteal phase. I think there probably is a group of women uh, whose progesterone levels are not good on a regular basis, which means that even if an embryo attaches day five after ovulation, if the lining of the womb is already starting to break up because of the lack of progesterone, then the period will come early, and that's the sign of a short luteal phase. Normally, it should be 14 days from ovulation to period. If you're getting uh, monitoring your cycle, and you're ovulating on day 14, but your periods are coming on day 23, 24, you've got a short luteal phase. Why it happens, we don't know. All women, uh, we did a study a long time ago now, but we showed actually that uh, looking at a, a, a big group of women on a monthly basis over a 12 month period, and almost every woman had at least one cycle, which we might've called a poor luteal phase. So uh, it does happen generally in the community, and what but but not very frequently occurring all the time is is actually quite rare treatment is to supplement the progesterone in the second half of the cycle or try and produce a better ovulation by giving a drug that will stimulate an ovulation more like clomiphene or letrozole and don't forget that you can access all the previous episodes by going to our website www.theivfjourney.com and select IVF Journey Podcast from the navigation menu. <laughs>